What do you want me to say again? Hi, my name is Laura Hughes and I am the owner at Finch 61 Storehouse. Our store is 22,000 square feet. It used to be an old lumber yard. So it is definitely a giant facility. It is full of everything from gifts, spices, pottery, furniture, home decor, women's clothing, kids clothing. There is literally everything under the sun in this store. Well, the store opened in October, November of 2013. So we've been here for eight years. Uh, this will be nine this year. It started out, funny story, so I used to be a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids. So my mom and I, we had a yard sale here and it was when the lumber company was still here. And when we had the yard sale upstairs, my mom said, wouldn't it be really great if we had a store? And from there, it morphed into us having this little shop, which was super fun didn't have a lot of customers, weren't really, didn't really even know like where the whole journey was gonna take us or where we were gonna end up. So when we did that, the lumber yard was still here, they moved out and we kind of took over this whole entire space. Uh, we started advertising and getting vendors in here and we have just exploded into this whole entire space and kind of made it what it is today but it started out as just this little kind of thing my mom and I did together and we hung out all day and turned into this huge, you know, 22,000 square feet place where we have over 25 vendors. So it definitely wasn't what I saw when we started, but it's been a really great journey to get to this point. We have about 25 vendors in the store and that kind of encompasses people that take up their own space in the store and then we have people all the way down to they just bring a piece here and there um, and that's kind of a consignment kind of thing. So it kind of runs the gamut. We have Mud and Maker in here. They actually have their studio up in Pottsville. We have Epicurean Spices in here. We have people that redo furniture and bring those pieces in here all the way to people that do picking and find antique stuff and, and that's what their booth is full of. We have a flight attendant that has a space in the store. She travels all over the place and brings things in from England and Italy and all these really cool places you walk around and it's all kinds of different feels and, and things you remember. Uh, we have just recently added a bakery and a winery into the store. So when I think about a destination, food is definitely on that list. So, and wine, I feel like obviously should be on there too. So we added the rustic confectionery who does cupcakes and scones and pies and all the good stuff that you think of when you think of grandma's kitchen. That is all available when you are in here. We're working towards that being a working cafe. So you can come in here and actually like sit down and enjoy something in the store. And then of course we have Bouchette Vineyards. They are in here. They sell all of their wine in here. You can actually grab some wine slushies and take a trip around the store, which is, you know, our customers love that part of being able to come in here and have that experience while they're shopping. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this part. I have a fantastic team at the storehouse. So everybody has this perfect part. My dad always says that everybody has a seat on the bus. We've kind of spent the last eight years trying to figure that out and integrating people uh, into the storehouse and some by hiring them, some were customers and, and it just kind of happened organically. I am a mother-daughter team and my mom and I work hand in hand. I am kind of the face, the voice. My mom handles all of that really crappy stuff that I don't like to do as far as like financials and book work and hate that stuff. So she takes care of those things. So my mom, when you come in here, her name's Yvonne. She's amazing. Uh, we just call her mom. Then from there, Lori, who is our resident handy chick, she can do 
anything under the sun, I'm telling you. If it is broke, she can fix it. If it's a problem we have, she can solve it. She is absolutely amazing. Not to mention, she has some really great art degrees in her background. So when we're talking about visual or things that I see in my mind, but I'm not quite sure how to make it happen, she does all of those things as well. Uh, she's also my right hand as far as muscle. When things need to be loaded into your car, the two of us will put it there. So she has a lot of different pieces and parts that she works, um, but she is irreplaceable and a huge part of the store. Oh my God, I was just talking about you. <laughs> I'm just carrying cardboard. Look away. Uh, one of our other team members is Kathy Decker. She's the one that does all our design work. So when you walk in the store and it looks amazing, that is credit to her. She's always out picking and finding things that are gonna work with our next greatest thing. We also do lives for Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint once a month. So we do these amazing setups and she is a key part into helping us bring that all together. What else do you do, Kathy? Just annoy you. True. Kathy is a big part in how everything comes together. The design background that she has is really an integral part and has definitely taken our store from down here to up here. So it is a blessing. She also has a space in the store as well. That's kind of how she comes into the picture. She started out as one of our vendors and kind of morphed into taking our vignettes and displays up to the next level. One of our employees that is second longest running here is Miss Donna. She takes care of everything we get in from auctions and estate sales. She always is hiding up in the back of the warehouse, pricing all those things and, and putting those things out. She is a resident painter. She does an amazing job refinishing furniture. So I am super thankful and grateful to have her here as well. Somebody that we just, uh, not too long ago, maybe about a year, added to the team is Christina. She does a lot of the things that I have hated doing up until this point. So she orders all of the things in that we need. So our paints and our Beekman products and all the things that stay in stock at the store, she takes care of all that. She does the inventory and all the pricing and she also does a lot of painting around the store. So she is definitely takes care of a lot of those things that um, I've just been doing. She is an amazing part of the team and so happy we hired her. As part of our team, we kind of learned that we need a lot of people to refinish pieces of furniture. That's something that we sell a lot of and me doing a lot of the painting is something that we I did early on, but it just seemed to never was enough time to refinish all the pieces that we needed. So we have Haley and we have Kira on staff. They are amazing, have kind of started out having no knowledge of using the paints that we stock in the store and now refinish all kinds of pieces that go on our floor and also any of the custom work that we get. They are squirreled away in the back and they, from the time they come in until the time they leave, refinish pieces of furniture. We have just recently decided, hence this video, that I needed someone to take care of all my social media and all of the good things that go along with that. So I hired Tori. She is the newest member of our team and the one that is helping me with this interview, which is going smashing. She is amazing. She takes all these ideas that I have and somehow comes and makes them work. I uh, do have a lot of ideas and I feel like that's the biggest thing. I come up with all these really great ideas and when I said that there's all these different people that hold all these different seats on the bus, uh, Tori is one of those people that I can talk to at 2 a.m. because I had an idea and all of a sudden she comes in and makes those things happen. So all of our social media and event planning happens through her and it's been amazing to kind of give that over and have my ideas and then have them actually happen. Yay you. Thanks. You're welcome.
So of course, this is a mother-daughter team. So one of the team members that we have is actually my daughter, Isabella. She comes in here and she works on the weekends with my mom and Donna. So if you happen to be on her weekend, she is the lovely lady that gets to check you out and she is picking up so many different things. It's definitely fun having my daughter as part of the staff. Well, in my brain, there's a lot of things that are gonna happen. And I feel like my team is gonna help those things happen. But we have events that we do. We've come up with a lot of different things that kind of work here at the store. We do outdoor markets. Those run April through October. If you're watching this, we're always looking for vendors and people to come in here with what they do, their crafts. So that's something that will continue on in the future. We also host a huge holiday open house where we close down the whole week before and we put on a huge show of everything Christmas. One of the things that we've always offered here from the very beginning, we do custom painting. So if you go up in our warehouse and you find something that you absolutely love but it's not painted, or you find something you love and it's painted, we might repaint it. Those are things that we've done from the beginning and will continue to do. So if you have a piece at home and it's your grandmother's and you love it but you want to refresh it, that's something you can bring in here and we'll refinish for you. Something that we started out doing and was a big part of the store was painting classes. We used to do all kinds of craft projects, all kinds of painting classes, and it's something when COVID hit we kind of got away from. So something in the future that we're going to bring back are painting classes. You can actually sign up to do classes with me where I will sit down with you one-on-one -on -one or you bring a friend and I will take you through the whole process. So you can grab your piece of furniture and I will take you through all of the steps. So there are three brands of paint that we can't carry here at the store that when we do paint classes, that's obviously what we use. And that's obviously what all our vendors use. So when you come in here to find something to refinish your furniture is something that we're all very familiar with and we use on a daily basis. So we carry Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint, we carry Fusion Mineral Paint, we carry Fusion Milk Paint, and then we do have a chalk baseline, which is Authentico. So those kind of cover everything and every style that you're gonna need um, to bring into your home or onto a piece of furniture. So when you're going through Pinterest and you're finding all these really great pieces of furniture that are painted, that's something that you can come in here, show us, and we can walk you through how to get that look and how to get that finish. Vintage 61, for me, for I feel like a lot of our customers, it's this place where you can come in and you kind of get lost in here. You get lost in the, all the pretty things and, and all the stuff that we've refinished, but you also get lost kind of in the past. There's so many things where you're walking around the store and it's something your grandmother had and it's something your mom had. Um, so you definitely can pick up things and, and integrate them now into your home decor. Because I feel like we, at least for me, like my gener the generation before mine, my mom, those they got rid of a lot of things. It was a time of like yard sailing and, and things that, you know, they didn't really pass down. So I am very aware of that and when I'm you know, going around the store, it's, it's definitely things that I'm now bringing back into my home that I remember being there as a child or that I remember my grandmother having. So I think it's special in that, that you're, you're kind of picking up pieces of, of your past and things that you remember. And then it, it also has new, we have new home decor here. I know we had touched on how we started and how we came to be. So I have always loved everything that's old. I've always gone to auctions and estate sales. I used to go with my brother all the time when I was younger. My mom, not so much, didn't necessarily like all of the old things. So when we started the store, my mom was definitely the, like one of the gift kind of things and, and home, new home decor where I was definitely on the side of going out and picking and redoing furniture. We existed in this little office space upstairs where we would hunker down in a closet and be refinishing furniture in this closed door. We'd have a doorbell and we'd hear the doorbell ring and we'd be like, oh my gosh, we'd get behind the counter. It was almost like we were like playing shop. It like wasn't even real, I don't know. And to see what it is today, is hysterical. When we started out doing those things, that's kind of where we started, refinishing furniture, bringing in some new decor, but 
my focus was always on those pieces, those old pieces of furniture, bringing them into the store. And that was something that didn't exist in the area. There was nothing like our store around. You had to travel, you know, into Reading or other parts to find anything even close to what we were doing here. Fast forward to today, I still feel like this, what we have here isn't something that you can find anywhere else. Adding Kathy to the mix and having all of those things now when you come in here to all the different vendors that do all kinds of different things, it definitely is something that I don't feel like is offered anywhere else that you can come in and kind of run the gamut. Yeah, I mean, you can really buy a gift for someone and redo your whole entire house while you're drinking a glass of wine and eating a cupcake. Our area is very close. It's very family oriented. There's definitely, at least in the town of Orgsburg, a lot of other places that are family owned and operated and, and we of course, you know, support them like they support us. So I feel like the area is just very rich in history and, and definitely the pieces of furniture that are here, you know, isn't stuff that you're going to find out west. It's very special in the area as far as being family oriented and it definitely supports the small businesses. Not a lot of parts of the country have these layers of antiques. Um, yeah, I don't know that people realize that, that, um, you know, everybody settled in the East. So we have really all of the eras of furniture. When you start going, you know, moving further West, like they don't have like these awesome depression pieces and, and all of these old, you know, I don't know that people realize that, that that is, I mean, unless, you know, they hauled it over there, but you definitely can't find what you can find here elsewhere. FYI. FYI. You cannot. This is a true story. And now you can sing to the people. I don't will always love you. All right, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I feel like I need the perfect song yeah. in order to get it right, but I feel like I'm going to work on it. work on that for next time. Right. So next time, tune in, and I will have a song. Laura's hits. Yes. Best of Laura. Yes. <laughs> we'll make a CD and everything, and it'll be great. That's a good show. Though. You like it? Yeah. I feel like my brain hurts. Ah, la la la. And then we have Juliana Cage, who is creeping around the store. You don't want to get on camera? No. Do you like this outfit? She says it's the drip. I love the drip. Oh! <laughs> the next person that we have in the store that drives me insane is Kathy. That's that's all we have for that. That's a wrap. That's all, folks. Are you ready, man? Okay. We start over. All right. All right. What is your name and what do you do here? What is Vintage 61 Style House? Well, let me tell you. <laughs>